guys, I'm here today with a review on Charlene Harris's Sweet and Deadly. Apparently this is her like first ever published book. I don't, I think I was looking for one of the um, Sookie Stackhouse books, the library, and I just saw this. And picked it up and thought it looked interesting and worth a read because I really like um, that series. So I thought maybe I'd like this. And it was alright. I'll just read you the back because it's short and it's a good one to read. I usually I like to explain it, but... I don't know, I'm feeling kind of lazy today, so... It says, Catherine Linton has returned to her hometown of Lowfield, Mississippi, unconvinced that the death of her parents in a car crash six months earlier was an accident. And her suspicions are confirmed when she stumbles upon the dead and beaten body of her doctor father's longtime nurse. Their secrets being kept in Lowfield, and the town where Catherine grew up may be the same place where she is sent to her grave. And that's a little more dramatic than the actual book is. It was okay. It was, if you like mysteries, like any of the kind of mysteries that are out there, this is just one of those. It's nothing special. But it was good. I didn't know who the killer was. But yeah, so she, her parents died six months ago. She became very reclusive. And um, she's, you know, she was always kind of a quiet, lone wolf kind of person. But after the death of her parents, she really kind of withdrew from the town. So um, while she's out on her land where she rents houses to people, she finds the nurse's dead body. And so f everyone's horrified. But then a couple days later, she finds another body in another house she rents. And so all of a sudden, it's starting to look like either she did it or someone's after her or something like that. So people become very suspicious. And she does not like, <coughs> of course, she does not like the attention. She doesn't want anything to do with this. And, but then she finds out that it might have something to do with her. So she tries to figure out what it is. And the police, of course, aren't much help. And there's a sorry love story going on. And she, of course, it's a small town, so she begins to suspect everyone. Trying to figure out what everyone's motives could be. And it unearths a whole bunch of dirt on everyone in the town. And, yeah. So, I mean, if you see it, it's it was a good read-ish, I guess. Not, maybe not good. It was an all okay read. Um, like I said, I didn't know who the killer was, so that's always good. And I liked Catherine as a character. She was a little annoying about how much she didn't want to be by anyone, but she was okay. I liked the other people. I was sad when certain people died. And, yeah, short review. I mean, it was okay. It was a mystery. It wasn't anything special. It was basically the moral of that story. So, yes, I, I mean, if you're looking for a book of Charlene Harris's to you know, like, carry on to hold you over for the Sookie Stackhouse series. This is not it. I loved that series, or love that series, and was hoping for something, like, that amazing. And it wasn't. It was just okay. But like I said, it was her first book, so I don't know if the other ones are better. And I guess that is it. Short and sweet. Um, if you've read it or any of her other books, let me know if there are any other ones really worth reading, like, searching out. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.